Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a collective cozy home haul and I'm also going to share with you a couple of mini makeovers. The first items that I want to share with you are pillow covers and they are by the brand Motini. You can find them on Amazon and I will link them in the description box. They come two to a pack and I actually got two packs. The pillow covers are 18 by 18 inches, but you can actually use pillow inserts up to 20 by 20 inches like the ones I am using here. So I had these pillows that I wasn't using anymore. I really didn't like the covers on them, so I thought I would make them over using the new covers that I got. And now I'm gonna show you where I plan to use these in my home. So we are here in my living room, and this is what the area that I'm going to rearrange looked like before. I just had a small table right here with a plant on top of it, and it's right beside my sliding glass door. So I thought I would turn this area into a little seating area. I have this hope chest that I brought from another room and I wanted to turn it into a seating bench. So here's what the space looks like now. I put three of the recovered pillows along the back side and then I just took a throw blanket that I already had and laid it across the top of the chest. So I had one recovered pillow left over, so I thought I would put it here on my recliner. I think it looks really pretty and gives the dark recliner a bit of contrast with the light pillow. The next item I wanna share with you is a Target find, and it's a throw blanket by the Opal House line. It was $10, and I grabbed the one in the light blush pink. I thought it would look really pretty on my bed. The next mini makeover I wanna share with you is in my entryway. I had this mirror on my wall near my staircase and I've had it for about two years now. I got it on clearance at Kirkland's with the intention to actually paint it white, but I just never got around to doing it. I've already started painting the bottom corner as you can see, and I'm just using an inexpensive white chalk paint that I picked up at Michael's and I'm also using a very small brush. I thought it would look better if I painted this white, especially since I got the mirrors going up my staircase. I actually got those at Hobby Lobby a few months ago, so I thought it would look better if everything was all one color. I ended up using two coats of chalk paint, and here is what it looks like now. I did lightly sand it afterwards, and I distressed some of the edges a little bit so some of the dark could show through. And I really love how it turned out. It brightened up the space here. I'm so glad I finally got around to doing this project because I really think it looks better, especially with the other mirrors on my wall here. So the next item I want to share with you is a candle, and it's one of the Woodwick burning candles. It's by DW Homes, and it's in the scent Salted Caramel Pumpkin. And I picked this up at Marshall's, and I think it was $6.99. And I put it here on my end table in my living room. I really like using these wood wick candles because I do not have a fireplace, so I like the little crackling sound that it makes. And I also just love the smell. It literally smells like Starbucks in my house. So speaking of Starbucks, I also wanna share with you this really delicious coffee that I picked up at Aldi. It was in the specialty section and it's the creme brulee coffee. It's like drinking a dessert and I am just really loving this coffee, especially for the fall season. If you can find it at your local Aldi, definitely pick up a bag because it is delicious. The next few items are gonna be all outdoor related items for my patio. They are from Alpha Mart and you can purchase them on Amazon and I will have them linked in the description box in case you wanna check them out. The first two items that I unboxed were the Alpha Camp Outdoor Director's Chairs. I did get two of them. They fold up really easy for storage. They are lightweight and they can hold up to 300 pounds. What I really love about them is they have a nice pop-up side table, which really comes in handy, especially if you're camping. It also has a drink holder that's built in and the table is big enough to put a dinner plate on. On the other side of the chair is a zippered pouch, so you can put snacks in here, whatever you want, and it also has a little compartment to put your cell phone in. The next item that I unboxed was the Five Villa 29-inch fire pit. I will also have it linked in the description box. This fire pit is the perfect size for our outdoor patio. It comes with the protective screen. It also has a fire poker stick, and I really love the design around the bottom portion. It has like a chevron design. 
and it also has a grate down inside. So now I'm going to show you on my patio where I plan to use these. I'm so excited to start using this, especially since the weather is starting to get cool now. Me and my daughter Hannah will be roasting lots of marshmallows out here. We might even bring our tent out and set it up and have an outdoor camp out soon. So I'm excited to do that. And the last mini makeover I wanted to share with you is actually in my garage. So we have this shoe rack right outside of our garage door where we keep most of our shoes and it started to get a little bit messy and the shoe rack wasn't a very good quality so it's starting to bow in the middle. So I went to Walmart and I found this shoe rack here. It's by the Better Home and Garden line and I will link it in the description box if I can find it. So I have put it together and put all my shoes on it and I really love how it looks. It looks a lot cleaner and neater and it's a lot sturdier than the one I had before. So that is all of my cozy home related items that I have picked up in the last couple weeks. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next.